Welcome to the Regrid Property App. Today I'm going to walk through a common workflow which is to identify some properties of interest in the Property App. Then we're going to export those out as a file that can be brought into Google Earth. So let's jump into it. Here I have already teed up a filter inside a project of interest. So we're ready to go. Basically here we're looking at Dearborn, Michigan and I pulled vacant lots using one of our quick filters. That puts me at about 1800 parcels found. And let's imagine that these are the ones that I would like to pull out and look at on Google Earth. So from here, I would click export parcels. And here uh, we have some file format options. Uh, basically, we have some other tutorial videos on the export format, so I won't go too deep. Basically though, spreadsheet, AKA CSV is what you want if you're gonna open it up in Excel or a similar software. Shapefile is the default all-purpose spatial file. So if you're gonna pull it into most mapping platforms, you're gonna to wanna to use Shapefile. For example, Esri or QGIS or Felt. Um, but the final one is pretty much exclusively dedicated to Google Earth. So this one is a KML. Uh, sometimes you'll see this as a KMZ, which is a zipped KML. This is the specific format uh, designed by Google Earth. So this is the one that works best if you wanna pull something into Google Earth. So select this one, click Review Data and proceed to Cart, click Add to Cart, and then just go through the normal checkout process. Uh, I'm gonna skip past that. I've already run this order for sake of time, but that's what you would do here. When you've done that, it'll take you to somewhere that looks like this with your data order. Here, you can see the format is KML, uh, and you see this download button, I'll hit download. You see this goes up to my uh, little downloads part at the top. Now that this is done, uh, we can click the little folder icon and look at it there. We can see it here. Okay, so now we're ready to pull up Google Earth and work on that side. So we've got our file here. I'm gonna go over to Google Earth. I'm gonna click new, local KML file, import, and I'm gonna browse to that file that I just did. Uh, it was called this one, export to Google Earth, etc. I'll click open here. It'll work away for a little second and then you see it loads in just like this. Uh, Google Earth has some limitations in styling just inherently, um, but you can play around with the styling and all of that. And if I zoom all the way into a given uh, polygon, I should be able to click on it and pull up the information uh, from Regrid in here. So it's all here for you to look at as well as visually on Google Earth.